we were doing. Oh, you're a sweetheart. You are. Hello, vintage neighbors. Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey, and today we have a massive vintage clothing thrift haul. So I know 2020 has been just not the best for so many different reasons. However, when it comes to finding amazing vintage clothing at amazing prices, this year has been it. I've found more vintage this year than I have, I think, in all the years leading up to this one. Just mostly all thrifted, estate sales, what have you. It's just come together. I don't know what's happening, but we're gonna go with it. So today I am going to show you this mountain of clothing that I have recently thrifted. I will try it on for you and talk a little bit about it. So if you wanna see the vintage clothing treasures that I have thrifted in the past couple of months. You're gonna wanna stick around. First up is this super pretty wool plaid purple skirt. It's super pleated. I love all of the pleats. It's kind of like springy when you pull it out. It bounces back together from all the pleats. This one I thrifted. It was $4.00. And it's in really great shape. I think it's either 1950s or maybe early 60s from what I can tell. And I paired it with a thrifted top and these beautiful purple bangles that my friend Suze sent me. Next up is this beautiful blue velvet 30s style dress. I'm not positive. Honestly, if this is just a costume someone made, or if it's actually vintage, I'm not quite sure. It is made out of really pretty soft satin, and the velvet is gorgeous. It's super heavyweight and so soft. I love the 30 style sleeves. There is an elastic in there sewn in um, under that lace, so that's kind of why I was thinking maybe it is kind of just like a costume someone made. But it's very well done. It's made with really quality, pretty materials, so I'm gonna go with it. And this dress I paid $4 for. It was actually in the Halloween costumes section. Next is this gorgeous red wool dress with all of the buttons down the front. I love it so much. This dress I paid $8 for at the thrift store and I paired it with a hat and gloves. The hat I actually got from an estate sale and the tag on the dress says Gerald Jr's New York and look at all the buttons, all of the loops and all of the buttons and I love this hip detail. It's kind of like a faux pocket, the gather and it just, I feel like makes the dress super flattering. Has the red metal zipper and this one also came with the matching belt. And this dress is probably early 50s, I would say. I'm in love with the buttons. I love the cuffs on the sleeves. This one I pictured as kind of like a Christmas dress, and so I put my Christmas corsage on, and yeah, this is gonna happen for this winter for sure. I love it with the Christmassy touch. I'm super excited. I'll probably wear this one for a Christmas party. And it is nice for winter because it's wool. It's nice and warm. And it just fits super well. I'm so happy with it. Couldn't be happier for $8. Next up, this might be my favorite one. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. This dreamy sheer 1940s dress with all of the things. It's so pretty. It came with a navy slip, but the slip had been altered and so it was actually too small. So I'll probably adjust it so that it will fit me, but the dress, the outside dress part fit perfect and just, I feel like an absolute princess in this dress. It's so pretty. 
The details are amazing, the shoulder gathers, the super involved soutache on the sleeves and then on the kind of on the waist and back. It is just everything. Like I said, I'm in love. I don't think I'm going to wear this one that often though because I just worry about that sheer material. I would just be heartbroken if I ripped it or something. So this one's going to be for a special occasion only, I think. But oh my goodness, it just fits perfectly. It's so pretty, so flattering. I am in love with it. This one was an estate sale find. My sweet cousin went to an estate sale in Idaho and she messaged me and said, there's so much here I think you will like. And so she sent me pictures and this was one of them. So this dress was $20. Next up, we've got a 49er, folks. This Pendleton was from that same estate sale. It was $5, and I'm so excited about this. I have wanted a vintage, um, like, 40s, 50s Pendleton for so long, and now I have one. I'm so excited. It's going to be perfect for winter. It does have some missing buttons, but I think I can definitely fix that and find some that will work but totally worth the $5. There's no holes or anything like that. It is gonna be so nice and warm for winter. And I love this arrow point, like pointy collar. I put a belt on it and paired it with some thrifted jeans and shirt. And of course, it is beret season now, folks. This dress has such a pretty collar. I love it. It is dark navy blue wool. And this one I paid $8 for thrifting. It did not have the original belt, but I just paired it with a white belt to kind of make the collar stand out a little bit more. It also has these really sweet little paper flowers applique on the front. I love them. It's so cute. I would say this one is probably also early 1950s. Tag says Tina Page fashion. And for some reason, this dress makes me feel like an elementary school teacher. I'm not sure why, but I'm, I, I like it. I'm going to go with it. Next up is this green rayon 40s beauty. This one I paid $10 for and it is so good. It fits perfect. It has all of the beautiful buttons down the front that's kind of a novelty print. And it has the original belt. It has amazing pleated pockets. And it is just the best. I'm so excited that I found this one. I couldn't believe it. It was just like first thing front and center when I walked in the thrift store, walked back to the clothes and it was just right there waiting for me. And I could not be happier with this one. I'm not really sure what the print is. It's just kind of like little geometric designs, I guess. I don't really know, but yeah, it fits perfect. It's a very flowy, wonderful rayon. It has shoulder pads. It's basically just a 40s dream. Next up is this gray 40s novelty print. This one I also found in that same trip as the green dress to the thrift store. This one was $10 as well. And it is gorgeous too. I couldn't be happier. This one is a novelty print cotton dress. Has a wonderful neckline detail with the gathers right there on the bust. It's so cute on. I love it. And the print is so fun. It's jewels, it's pearls and rubies for the print. It has a side metal zip. And some really cute gathers in the front. And then, like I said, that bust line is everything. I love this dress. It doesn't have a label, but I don't believe it's homemade. I mean, it could be by a very talented seamstress, but it, it feels like it's probably from a store. 
Next up is this beautiful pink 1960s lace dress. This was sent to me by my sweet friend, Suze, and she is just so darling. She sent me this beautiful pink dress along with those bangle bracelets and some other fun little prizes. And this dress is so cute. I think it's going to be perfect as like an Easter dress. It's the pretty pink lace over top of pink, like pink satin. And I paired it with some white gloves and then this pink hat that I also found at an estate sale. And this purse that I thrifted the other day. It was $2, 1960s straw purse. And the hat was from that same estate sale in Idaho. My cousin grabbed it for me. Next up, I am dying over this dress, you guys. This 30s dressing gown is everything, you guys. It's so good and so glamorous. I am in love. It is super thick, luxurious satin. The sleeves are so good. It has that huge zipper all the way down the front. It's the perfect dressing gown. 1930s dressing gown. And this dress was from that Idaho estate sale as well. I paid $8 for this one. And just look at it, you guys. It's so well made. The material is so luxurious. I feel like a glamorous movie star. I need to sit at my vanity and get ready wearing this amazing, amazing dream of a dress. And you can see here the zipper. And I'm showing you the inside construction just because it's it's so nice and so well made. You can see all that gathering that they did. And it's just, I wish you could feel it. It's so soft and so beautiful. And those big puffy sleeves. Oh my gosh, it's everything I would want in a 1930s dressing gown. It's a dream. And next up is this gorgeous autumnal colored 1950s set. There is the super cute dress, also the little bolero. And I happened to have a hat that basically matched it perfectly. Can you believe that? Look at it. It's like the exact colors and everything. I was so excited. So I've never even, I've never worn that hat because I've never had anything to wear it with and this is like the perfect outfit for it. I love the waist detail on this dress. It has kind of like a overlapping waist tie and then it, it belts in the back. And then it has this metal zipper down the back and then here is the little bolero. And it is made out of linen. The sleeves on it are a little bit tight and so I may see about uh, letting those out a little bit. It does have a little bit of seam allowance there so I think I will because it's not super comfortable on my upper arms, <laughs> but totally worth doing. This set was $8 from the magical Idaho estate sale. Last up is this magical 1940s beaded gown. You guys, can we please? I mentioned this before. I need some fancy parties. I've, I've got these, these party dresses and I've got these amazing gowns and I have nowhere to wear them. What can we do about this? This one, the beading on it is so pretty. It's a super thick, kind of like a crepe rayon, I think. And just look at the bead detailing. It's almost like soutache, but beaded. If that makes sense. I love the neckline with the collar that looks like it kind of like folds out and then it has these super pretty peplum like ruffles added to the front waist area. Has a metal side zip. This dress was $15 at the Magical Idaho Estate Sale. And yeah, it's just, it's just everything so gorgeous. I must find somewhere 
to wear this dress. I paired it with some elbow length gloves and of course some pearls because you must when you're wearing a 40s gown, right? Some white satin gloves and these belonged actually to my grandmother. Thank you so much for watching and for being a part of the vintage neighborhood. I sure hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my thrift finds in as far as clothing goes for the last little bit. And I am so beyond grateful and blessed to have been able to find these treasures and give them a new life and a new home. <laughs> so just in case you didn't know, we do have some vintage neighbor merch. I will link it below. There are some really cute shirts and I will put a little picture in so you can see what those look like. And I'm so excited about them. Excuse me. <laughs> so I hope that you guys will go and check those out and represent the vintage neighborhood. And if you do, make sure you tag me on Instagram. I would love to see if you like thrift hauls, if you like vintage clothing, try-ons, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out and I appreciate every single one of you for being here. If you've not subscribed already, please do so. We would love to welcome you into the vintage neighborhood and join in our vintage fun. And I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're feeling safe and loved and I'm sending you all my love and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.